And I also got a gold. You got a gold? Yes. Makes me feel like I've been rewarded something very special and that I should protect it and not let it get broken or have anything bad happen to it because that those to me are like very special gifts for trying your best. The youngest today is um, 10 on the soccer field and then the oldest is I'm going to say mid 50s, mid 50s, yeah. All playing together and it, and it doesn't matter. My favorite part is soccer. I went to my friends like Connor, Sam, Andrew, and Dan. And Justin, he's a very good goalkeeper. He got an amazing block. Like in the tiger, come on the cage. He's got a strong, flexible leg to kick it high. Good job, Good job, Good job, Good job, oh. Racers, take your mark. I got into this one. My daughter has autism, and she started doing track and swimming at age five ish or four ish. And my favorite picture we have a, a picture of her coming around the final leg, and she had this huge smile on her face. And I said, That's what it's all about. And uh, so I have that. Prominently, it's right next to my bed. That's what I see at night, and um, and that's who she is. At the uh, national games, I got a medal. I got the gold at national games, and uh, I like to get stronger, so that's probably why I get, like to run. People encourage me to try my best, and that actually makes me feel a lot like I'm very special. He's extremely fit. I work um, a lot. He, he does work out a lot, right? You bike a lot. Yeah. His stamina is awesome. Keep coming, keep coming, touch the edge. Remember, don't touch me, touch the edge. Her physical disabilities, her visual disabilities, and for her to be able to swim in Special Olympics is just, you know, it's, it's phenomenal that programs like this exist. Well, the fact that she tries, you know, I um, you say emotional, that's emotional. Um, um, she can't cross the street without help, yet she'll smile after a 5K run. How, how, how is life, it can't get much better than that. So she inspires me every day. <laughs>